Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. So in today's session, we will see overview of execute production and review dispatch list in Oracle Fusion supply chain management manufacturing application. Okay. So if you have the role of production operator and the required privileges, then you can use the work execution work area to complete all the tasks related to production execution okay now let's start with the overview of execute production so once you have released the work order then you can start doing transaction okay so most of that comes from the dispatch list where you can report material transaction resource transaction do your inspection and capture the information okay you can also report the progress of your supplier operation for uh, outside processes in execute production as you do your transaction you can manually issue material or the system can push the material auto transact resources so once you have completed all the units they will go into the inventory and once you have completed the last unit of your the work order it will show that your work order is completed okay now in case of orderless transaction you just need to transact everything at the defined standard on your work definition you can do the orderless transaction where you do one transaction and at this system will decrement stock for the material it will put complete units into the stock and auto transact all the resources as defined on the work order now the review dispatch list so the dispatch list allows you to transact work orders from one operation to the next you can issue material do inspection from one side or one place under the actions here the actions under the actions you can print your work order traveler you can create the work order traveler if you are doing extensible attribute or the print label report exceptions so the system will create the execution sequence based on the work definition that has been pulled out into the work order if you choose the resequencing then the system will do the reschedule based on your resequencing if you are doing for discrete manufacturing then you have then you have multiple items on the work order it assumes that you are going to run all the items and that new sequence and all the dates planning will be updated based on the resequencing okay now let's go to our instance and review and dispatch list so for that first we have to create an work order okay so for creating an work order just click on navigator okay under supply chain execution we have work execution so just click on work execution click on task list okay and uh, just click on manage work order here is our review dispatch list okay okay click on the create icon create a standard work order okay so select our item that says okay click on search icon and select our items unit of measure that is each the start date the time for our work order creation okay let's say we are creating work order for 250 quantities just click on show more for more details okay work definition that is main status unreleased okay just click on save and add it okay so a status that is unreleased start date completion date product that is nothing but our item quantities work definition item structure details okay and the last the completion information okay here are some operation associated with our work order okay like tablet assembly tasting and at the last the baking okay just click on save and close okay yeah 002 work order 002 
that is nothing but our manufacturing organization and our work order number that is 1054 was updated so here is our work order that is work order 0021054 item and the quantities status that is unreleased okay so for releasing that work orders just select the row and click on release okay so here you can see our work order is released the status of one work order was updated to the status released okay so in this way you can release your work order now click on task list so okay so here we have a task in execute production that is review dispatch list so just click on review dispatch list okay yeah here for our 250 quantities you can see your review dispatch list okay so here we have multiple options like manual reporting not required or here we have manual reporting required okay as you select manual reporting required you can you can define your transaction type issue or return okay here you can add components okay your components your required tra to transact standard quantity okay just click on cancel right we right now we are not adding any component over here okay now click on cancel okay yeah okay so here we have an another option that is reporting is not required okay and at the last the enter inspection detail if you want to enter an inspection detail you can enter it over here okay just click on the icon okay here the inspection plan inspection by okay the type that is wip work in progress okay so for review dispatch list you can review our all the quantities unit of measure our work order okay the completion date okay now expand the work order in our review dispatch list so here the quantities complete quantities that is 250 if you want to re reject some quantity from 250 you can update it over here if you want to send your some items to scrap okay let's say our only 200 item is completed okay and let's say 30 items was rejected and the end 20 item you can change your data as well okay so after your production is completed you can update your dispatch list over here okay okay right now we are not updating a, any scrap or reject let's say 250 quantities completed okay you can select your quick complete complete with details let's select with complete with details okay you here you can complete quantity that is 250 completed rejected okay available to transact okay just click on next back flush material okay required quantity to transact quantity see so all our items like all our items okay just click on next and auto transact the resources so in this way you can auto transact your resources okay resource instance here you have to select your resource instance like okay the calcities panels okay the equipment resources and the labor resources you can select your labor resources as well okay let's say you are label that is stream rover okay just click on save and close work center that is tablet assembly work order quantity for 250 quantities okay that is our resources the equipment and the labor okay you have completed the quantity 250 yeah now if you want to view print your work order traveler so for that just click on the row and click on action here we have an option on work order traveler so just click on work order traveler okay so it generates a pdf file it contains all the details for your work order okay from starting from beginning till end okay okay work order traveler 1054 okay just click on open file yeah here is our work order the barcode generated for our work order okay 
so in the work order table it contains all the information so first page contains the work order information like work method that is discrete manufacturing work order type that is the status what is the status of our work order that is released product information our product name okay so here's our product code okay the creation time time zone and all the details schedule start date schedule completion date okay let's scroll it down here work definition details like work definition name work definition versions completed sub inventory serialized okay so all the details for our particular work order okay here work order number like work order operation like in tablet assembly what items we need like just a display multi-touch okay quad cores batteries silver rear case okay so work order tabular contains all the details okay the schedule quantity that and the completed quantity that is 250 okay so supply sub inventory that is the work in progress okay required material that is 250 issued material that is 250 or oh, here is the on hand quantity available in our system that is for particular display capacity multiple touch overlay eight thousand seven hundred sixty six quantities available now for memory 1 gb ddr 3233 quantities are available in system so in this way you can review your all the details for particular work order here are the resources okay resources for equipment resources some labor resources okay this usage rate unit of measures required usage so all the details okay the, here is our labor okay that steam brewer person type that is employee now the quality person for our quality testing okay and at the last our packing for our, our item that is tablet packing what it contains all the quantities and also the details so in this way you can review your reports if you want to add some attachment you can add our attachment is over here as well so in this way you can review your dispatch list in our application so thanks for watching the video thank you so much.